for a multivariable calculus. Miss Deer back on the mic here. I just wanted to finish what we started today in class, which we had talked about. Uh, if we have a field and it is continuous on an open, connected region R. Then, work is path independent if and only if f is conservative. So this is what we talked about today in class. So what this gives us is the next theorem, which gives us a way to say that the following are equivalent. So we can say that F is conservative. So F is grad F. This is the same as saying that, that my work is path independent. Or I could also say that any time I have a closed curve, my work is zero. Because if I go and then I end up at the same point, then I have accumulated no work. All right, so let's give you one last practice problem. Let's evaluate. Let's evaluate the work. Um, and let's let my field is, let's do y cubed plus 1 i hat plus 3xy squared plus 1 j hat along the semicircle from 0, 0 to 2, 0. So I'm going from here along here. So the first way that we can attack this problem is that we can parameterize. So we would have to set up our R of T is going to be, uh, we're going backwards. So 1 minus cosine T I hat plus sine T J hat. And this is for T between 0 and pi. Oh, so then we're going to have to plug these in and define our field. So f is going to be y cubed plus 1 i hat plus n amount. So this would be absolutely awful. So what might be another thing we can do? Well, let's see if this field is it conservative. My derivative with respect to y is 3y squared. My derivative with respect to x is 3y squared. So I have a conservative vector field, which means it's path independent. So let's pick a simpler path. So instead of going along the semicircle, if I want to go from 0, 0 to 2, 0, I could just go along the x-axis. And so what that is going to look like, well, I can pick any path I want. That would give me r of t is 2t i hat, t between 0 and 1. So now dr is going to be 2 i hat, and f is going to be y cubed, which is nothing, plus 1 i hat, plus 3 x y squared plus 1 j hat. So I have 1 i hat plus 1 j hat for my vector field, which gives me f dot dr. So I do 1 times 2 plus 1 times nothing. So all I have to do is integrate 2 dt, which is 2. So this was obviously much easier. And what could be even easier than this? Well, if I know I have 
a conservative vector field, I could just find a potential function and use the fundamental theorem of line integrals. So if I know that my partial derivative with respect to x is y cubed plus 1, and I integrate with respect to x, I get f equals x y cubed plus x. If my partial derivative with respect to y is 3xy squared plus 1, and I integrate with respect to y, I get f is 3xy cubed over 3 plus y. And again, I could have some function of y here, and I could have some function of x here, and I could have constants on both. I can see that this is the same. So my potential function is xy cubed plus x plus y. And to use my fundamental theorem, I'm just going to evaluate that from 0, 0 to 2, 0. So I get 0 plus 2 plus 0 minus 0 is 2. Is that the same answer that I got before? Absolutely. So definitely my parameterization along the semicircle was not the way to go. Parameterizing along the x-axis was much easier. And then I would say even easier is coming up with a potential function and using the fundamental theorem of line integrals. So this finishes up this section in your book. Homework is posted on Canvas. Have a great weekend. Wash your hands. Stay healthy.